Yes, this page is not running ads. They even have an ebook that they could do. Oh my, this is the perfect client. I might, I might hit up this client soon. <laughs> if you're ready to find those clients that are ready to pay you $1,500 or more, be sure to watch this video because I'm going to show you my prospecting strategy for Facebook ads in 2020. So that way you will be able to search and find those potential customers that want to buy your Facebook ad services. And the best part is all of the methods I'm about to show you are completely free. So let's get started. So what's going on YouTube? It's Aaron here. And if you've noticed my background bubble is a little bit different, that's because I'm in my hometown in New Jersey. And leave a comment below if you're also from New Jersey as well, or just which state you're from, just so I can know. And also, if you haven't already, and I know 85% of you still aren't, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you get up-to-date info on how to run Facebook ads, get clients for your own agency, and all that fun stuff. And you will learn a lot and you'll be able to make lots of money from the information I'm going to teach you. That So let's get into prospecting for your Facebook ads agency. So let's say you're just getting started out or let's say you've learned all you can about Facebook ads and you feel confident and you feel ready about running Facebook ads for people. And if you don't feel confident yet, be sure to watch the video I'm going to have as an icon up there of how to run Facebook ads for local businesses. So how do you find local businesses to run Facebook ads for? Well, the first place that I usually look um, to run a local business is I just look on Facebook itself. So with Facebook, I can literally just type in the niche I want and then the area I'm in. So let's say I want to do chiropractors because that is um, that is a niche that I am going to go after. You want to go, you want to type in chiropractors and then the area that you are in. So in this case, this is Waltham, Massachusetts. And then you can see all the different chiropractors that are in uh, your local area. And this is great since they already have Facebook. You don't have to go in there and, you know, create a Facebook page for them since they've already done it. And these clients are kind of good because that means they are using Facebook. And you, have to, you also want to see if they're posting on Facebook. So let's see. Their last post with Jane was last year. So obviously they've kind of left Facebook into the dust, um, unfortunately. And then I also like to see if they're running ads. So these people are not running ads. So they're definitely missing out. So what I usually do is I would cold message them. I would send them a message here, or you can just go into the about section and uh, look at and email them as well. But usually I can just cold message them or I'll cold, cold email them and make sure you go on the website to learn as much you, as you can about them. So that way, when you do cold message them or when you do cold email them, you can personalize it towards them, compliment them on their, you know, their latest blog post or you know that their website looks fine this web i mean this website's honestly not that good because you can see a little it's a little bit cut off here but um yeah so just explore the website see how you can cultivate your message so that's specific to that business okay so with facebook you can do that you can also look into different groups so if you can i would do something like so let's stick with chiropractors for example chiropractor Facebook groups and so so the reason why I'm looking up groups is because you want to pretty much be where your target market is for the most part right so you just go on here groups actually a better thing would just be just be like chiropractor and then just type in groups yeah and then see, you might not be able to join these groups if you're not an actual chiropractor, but see if you can join these groups and then see, you know, talk to message people. Don't spam the group for the most part, right? Because then that's just going to get you banned. Message the people in the group, see if they need your services and, you know, see what they're doing to market, <clears throat> see what they're doing for marketing. So another benefit of joining a group is also you get to learn how your target market talks to each other, learn the different vocabulary that they use. So that way you can use that vocabulary when you're talking to people in that target market as well. Oh, and just to point out, another thing you want to do is just to see if they're already running Facebook ads and by seeing if they have a pixel. So there's a lot of debate of whether you should 
go after the low hanging fruit of people who don't run Facebook ads versus people who already run Facebook ads. And my approach is you should go after both, but you have to be aware is that if you go after people who've never run Facebook ads before, they're not going to see the value of it immediately. They're not already sold on that idea. So it's going to be a lot harder of a sale than if you go after people who are already running Facebook ads because they already know that Facebook ads are profitable. And the best case scenario is if they're running Facebook ads and if they're running bad and if they're running them badly, because then you can go up in there and you can fix them and then fix it for free. And then they'll be like, hey, you can fix my ads. That's awesome. Let me uh, let me hire you so that you can do my ads for me full time. So, but that's not about that. This is about prospecting. So again, go through Facebook, join different groups, go on different, go on these businesses pages and see what their business is about and see if they're qualified. If their website's good, then definitely go after them. If they seem like they don't really care about their online presence, it's going to be a lot, a lot harder of a sale. So pretty much the more work that these, the business has already done, the better it is for you. So what are some other ways? So another way that I like to do that not many people usually talk about is I go on to Yelp. So let's do Yelp, Cairo, Practors, which is AKA your niche, your niche. And let's just do New Jersey. Hey, what's going on? I just want to add one more thing to the prospecting video. So it's probably gonna be in the middle of the video, just, you know, just to catch you guys by surprise. But anyway, it's not only online we can do prospecting for new Facebook ads clients, it's also offline as well. So as you can see here, if you're like any other um, house or whatever, we get a lot of mail. So with this mail comes, you know, important bills and stuff, unfortunately, but you also get advertisements as well, you know, promoting the local businesses around the area. So what you can do is actually call up those local businesses and say, hey, and, you know, build a relationship. Say something like, hey, is this advertising actually work for you? I like the style of it. And you know they're already spending money on advertising, which is already a good sign of a good uh, prospect. And, you know, just you can just casually ask them. Just say, oh, how's the advertisement doing? If they're getting any sales from it. And if they're not, or if they're looking for another way to advertise, you can just say something like, hey, I do, you know, Facebook ads, and I'd love to give you, you know, free tips, free tips and tricks, a free um, a free call, a free strategy session, just offer value upon value upon value. And who knows, you might get a client just from looking through your mail. And another thing is that when you're driving around, you probably see a lot of billboards as well with, you know, different numbers saying, hey, you need an attorney, call this number or something like that, right? So actually go and call those people on the billboards and ask them the same thing build a relationship with them and see if they need your Facebook ad services as well. Because if they're willing to advertise using those these traditional methods that just plain don't work anymore, I'm sorry to say, then they'll definitely be willing to move that money into a new, better approach of, you know, on my, of advertising. So with that said, I just want to add that in really quickly. So that's two more ways to prospect offline. So now back to the main video. So you want to go on Yelp because a lot of businesses like to make sure that they're up there with their uh, Yelp reviews and stuff like that. And you can also just discover new businesses as well. So, okay, you can see that Springs, Springfield Family Chiropractic. So we go in there. So, we, so I click on it. I explore the website a bit. Let's see. They seem to have a lot of good pictures. Um, they have good reviews. You want to work with a reputable company because the better the business is already, the easier it is is going to be for you to market that business. So if they already have testimonials, if they already have good reviews, that's a really good business because a business with bad reviews, bad testimonials, it's still possible, but it's just not going to be as easy because it's going to get a, it's going to be a lot harder to gain their trust. So of course you want to explore the website. So the web like the website looks really good and they don't have a Facebook pixel and um, <clears throat> yeah, keep going look at the about section this is important because you want to know who the business owners are you need to figure out who the business owner is so the website is usually the perfect place for that so obviously i would contact dr ryan wiley or dr don so when i email them or when i cold message them i would refer 
I would ask if I could talk to them or I would I would just assume that I'm speaking to them already and then if not the proper person and then if the person who actually responds isn't the proper person then I have more of a chance of actually reaching them so let's see let's go on their Facebook page so I like to explore their Facebook page as well just to see what they're doing so they have a good amount of likes for a local business they have a really good banner don't miss a post book now send a message so their Facebook um, page is really optimized, 45 reviews, so they they should be running ads. If they're not running ads, they're really missing out. They, this page is not running ads. They even have an ebook that they could do, oh my, this is the perfect client. I might, I might hit up this client soon, <laughs> but as you can see, like these, this would be a good client to go after because they have a good reputation, 45 reviews, have a nice website, and... They have blog posts which you can use as lead magnets for the most part. So you don't even have to make the lead magnet for them if you don't want to. So yeah, so that's so that's just from Yelp. And then you call them, you email them, and uh, see if they're interested. And another important one is you want to go, don't ignore the sponsored um, Yelp advertisements for the most part, right? That's because if they're already spending money on advertising, that means they know the power of online advertising. And if you can say, hey, Facebook ads are a lot better than Yelp ads, which they are, because most people skip Yelp ads anyway, but not Facebook ads, because they're forced to see them, then they can be like, okay, let me take this money that I'm spending on Yelp and give it to you so you can run the Facebook ads. So moving money is a lot easier to sell for clients than making up new money. Because if they already have a marketing budget and they're already spending that marketing budget, they'll definitely be happy to uh, move that to a more effective marketing budget. So obviously, you want to just go on to this website. This isn't really um, a Kai factor, but let's just say it was. So I go on to this contact. And you can even message them. Let me just message this business. You can even message them on Yelp. Yeah. Message them on Yelp with your uh, cold message script and uh, see if that can work. And you don't want to bother the businesses too much, but I do recommend messaging businesses on different platforms. So Facebook message them, if they don't respond, email them, et cetera, et cetera. And then this page is a Facebook ad, so obviously they know the power of Facebook ads. So you wanna see if they already have a business that's running, their, an agency that's running their Facebook ads. Even if they do, you can you can manage to, you know, maybe we can run a different account. Maybe we can run it to a different funnel. You can still try for that client because a lot of people move from agency to agency. Um, they don't really stick with one agency for like years and years. They might stick with them for like three months or so. Three, three to six months. So yeah, I'm going to keep going down on Yelp until, you know, I find... And I'm going to keep going down on Yelp, looking at their websites, seeing if they're qualified, if they have a good website, do they have good reviews, do they run Facebook ads for themselves, do they have the pixel set up, and the more qualified they are, the more, the more effort, the more value I want to bring to them to retain them as a client. Okay, so that is another avenue for prospecting, and that is to go on to Yelp. So another thing you can do is just use Google. So let's say I'm just going to do chiropractor New Jersey. Something like that. Obviously, you want to do like, you know, your local town. Uh, let's just do a local town. Let's just do New, New Jersey because that's a town near me. New Jersey. So what you want to do is you want to, well, hold on. This was on it before. But you want to look at the ones that are running ads because, again, Moving money is better than making up new money. And even if they don't want to like stop the Google ads, you can still bet they're willing to spend more money on Facebook ads if you can portray your value to them and say how much profitable Facebook ads are. So let's see. So let's just look at this. We'll click on the ad. I'm sorry I'm giving them a bad click. But um, you want to see how else are they advertising as well. So this company's doing Google ads. They have the Facebook pixel set up. So they're probably running Facebook ads. So let's go into that. So as you can see, you can just read the services. And then of course you wanna find the business owner's name somehow. I mean, it's usually on the website. 
So once you find the business owner's name, uh, it's probably Dr. Dr. James Fiedich, uh right here, DC, which is a doctor of chiropractor. Um, you can portray and customize your message just for him. Compliment him on this video. Be like, wow, this video is really amazing. How are you utilizing this video? Are you Has it gotten you more customers? Ask them questions. Get them intrigued about, um, make, build a relationship with them with for the most part and then with that you can offer your services and then if they like it go ahead for it but if they don't just move on it's plain and simple so okay so we're on the facebook page now i mean i would personally change this banner to something else that entices people to call now or send a message uh they have 189 reviews which is really nice 2000 likes which is really good this page has to be running ads um, this page is running ads, so I'm going to their ad library. Let's see what ads are running. And then what I would like, what I would do is look at their ads, see what they're doing, and see how I would improve onto them. So this business is running two ads right now, and they started it, um, this one kind of recent, this one not so recently. And for this one, um, over one to so on some Google, that's really good, that's a good headline. It's a nice picture. It's a nice local picture. Uh, only $39. So see what types of ads they're running and see how you can make it better. So for this case, I would just use a video for this one too that instead of just a picture, just maybe have this as like the thumbnail of the video, but then just have a video just explaining who you are and what you do and stuff like that. So you take this and then you can cold message the business as well. So of course, you can use Google as well. So where was I? It's confusing. Uh, here and then, oh, let me just press back. So of course you can do that. And then what you can also do is click, you usually get like this map type of thing with Google as well. Click on more places. And you know, of course they run ads here as well. So you wanna click on it, explore, and you know if they're running ads already, especially online advertising, then they're definitely inclined to run Facebook ads as well, if you can show off your value. So go to all these people's websites and you know, cold send them a cold message, explore the website, make sure that they're qualified, and boom, that's how you do it. So these are these may have been more obvious ways to do it. So now I'm gonna go into the less obvious ways that people don't really think about. So another, another way to prospect is to go on good old Craigslist. So you go on a Craigslist over here, and then you can see different jobs that people are offering. Okay, so once you land on Craigslist, and it's going to pop up for your specific area, just search up Facebook ads, digital marketing, social media marketing, etc., etc., and then you look in jobs. And then you can see different jobs that um, that people have. It's like, look at this one. Seeking social media and marketing in Maverick. Awesome social media and blog manager. Posting ads. I might apply for these right now. Dang. <laughs> so as you can see, there are many different jobs that you can do. And these are people that are the best qualified. You know why? Because they are literally posting a job saying, please, please run our Facebook ads. So by looking at this, by looking at job posts like this, you can be, they might not be specific for your niche. You can find jobs to run Facebook ads for different businesses and get experience in those niches. So the thing is with this, you most likely are going to need a resume and some case studies as well, because they're not just going to, they may not just hire a complete newbie, but if you can portray your value in the right way, just say, oh, I would do this. I would do that. I would um, I would run this type of ad. I'll use this type of image. Then, and you show that you really do know your stuff. Then you don't really need any experience because you already have the know-how up here in your smart noggin. Okay, so the last place that you can go to, that you can uh, prospect and find those one thousand five hundred dollar month Facebook ad clients is right on LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is perfect because it's B to B. So that means that it's business to business. So this is people's professional profiles and you'll be able to talk straight to the decision maker for the most part, right on LinkedIn. So what you can do is you click on LinkedIn 
and then you can sign in. Okay, so so what you want to do is you want to type in, you know, the niche you're in. So chiropractor. Uh, chiropractor in people. And you can see the different chiropractors in the area. So let's type in chiropractor. Let's do Massachusetts. Let's just, let's just do New Jersey because I can spell New Jersey right now. <laughs> um, let's see. So, okay, here we go. Jessica D. And then chiropractor New Jersey. So you click on them. You can send them a message onto here um, if you have the access. Um, or what you can do is contact info so they only give the contact info so you i would send a message here and you know make sure you explore their website if you have if they have a website um if they have a business already make sure you explore you explore all that fun stuff and then you customize your message to speak directly towards them all right so i know i said that was the last thing but i actually have one more tidbit and that is for you to actually go in there and run your own Facebook ads. Because if you have some money to spare, and if you are really good at Facebook ads, so a lot of people say, oh, don't run Facebook ads for yourself, especially if you're just starting out. And I honestly don't see the reason why not to if you have the money to spare. Because if you already know how, if you have all the know-how, if you have all the knowledge to get customers for your clients, you should exactly have that same know-how to get clients for yourself. And especially if a customer goes in there, goes into your Facebook ads, goes into your funnel, and becomes a lead for you, that is the ultimate trust. Because then that client knows, okay, he got me through this Facebook ad, so that means he can definitely get me some customers through the Facebook ad itself. Because he knows the strategy, he knows how to hit my pain points, and he knows how to get profit through my door. So that is another way to prospect. I'll probably make a video about how to do Facebook ads to get Facebook ads clients to even be your first one. Because if you do have some money to spend on Facebook ads, then I don't see the trouble into doing it. Again, use Facebook, use Google, use Yelp, use Craigslist, and use LinkedIn. So those are just five already. If you have any other prospecting methods, let me know in the comments below so if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and a thumbs up and also if you want more ways for you to get clients that are not only online but offline as well click on the video i have up there that's going to show you eight different ways for you to get clients in 24 hours or less i'll see you guys in that video take care